Shura Jengde uh, is a young man uh, at the Harvard Kennedy School as a fellow, uh, and the and he has become uh, black. Uh, we know that uh, Bobby Jindal became the honorary white at wanting to enter politics as the honorary white. But guess what? Now we have also honorary blacks. So if you look at his picture, he's got this afro, and that is not how he was when he arrived at Harvard. He was like a regular Indian looking man. And now he's developed this afro, and he says that he's an African, he's a black, and he wants Dalits to say that they are blacks. So the African American community have embraced him because he's a, he's a very articulate man, very intelligent, very well spoken. I think there are a lot of great things about him. In fact, I've tried to reach out to him uh, because I think a lot of things he says are actually true. This, the, 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 some of a lot of the oppression he talks about is true, and it ought to be taken care of. But this business of becoming sort of Harvard's poster boy for what 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 is called the Afro Dalit identity, the Afro Dalit hyphenated identity, that Dalits are really Africans. Uh, and and uh, this whole black white racism of America has to be the lens through which to study the uh, caste issues of India. He's championing that. In my earlier book, Breaking India, over a, a, de a decade ago, I talked about Afro Dalit, but no one took it seriously. Mm -hmm. And so no one nipped it in the bud. No one helped me nip it in the bud. So mm -hmm. now this Afro Dalit movement is all over the place. That is the heart of critical caste theory today. And so Suraj Yangde at Harvard is the key figure uh, in championing on the world stage. And he's become very popular in India. The Indian left loves him. They bring him to all these lit fests and he's a, he's a big hero. But there are so many flaws I pointed out. His understanding of Buddhism is flawed. His understanding of uh, Marxism is flawed. His understanding of Hinduism is flawed. His, his, he's got all these weird ideas about caste and the history of caste and this Aryan invasion and so on. I mean, I have a very large chapter taking his writings, which are prolific and his videos which are prolific taking them point by point and giving a response mm -hmm.